Hello, hello. Welcome. If you are new here, please subscribe and click the notification bell, thumb up the video, share your social media. If you're returning, welcome home. The bottle trees that are in the show. I know it came with a theory stating that Tabitha left from Ville, went to the past, and she's the one to put the bottles on the trees. I have another theory that I think is better than that, and that is the bottle trees or the bottles that were put on trees were more than likely from people who came to Fromville before the people who we see in season one, episode one. And I got this from Mississippi Encyclopedia.org and uh, bottle trees is an American Deep South custom that have their beginnings on African soil. They are Congo derived tradition dating back to around the 9th century and were introduced to America as early as the 17th century as a consequence of the Atlantic slave trade. While the exact origin of bottle trees is unknown, the most probable beginning is in Africa graveyards as a funeral ritual using various glass objects, including bottles to decorate the burial sites of the dead is a long-standing tradition. Bottles were laid either in a symmetrical pattern on the site or randomly around the borders of the site, thus creating a horizontal bottle tree. If a tree draped over the grave, colorful bottles were hung from the tree's limbs. The grave decorations protected the dead person's talents from escaping into a space of nothingness. Other pictures that I've seen online, it has all the bottles, the same colors, the same type of bottle. Whereas the bottle trees we see on the show, these are different bottles in different colors. And I think they're different colors like this, not necessarily because they hung up whatever bottles they could hang up, but I think it's because these bottles for this bottle tree are over a grave. This tradition carried over into the American South where many African-American graves have such decorations. Bottle trees also have long stood in the yards of African-Americans and the kaleidoscope wonders eventually made their way into yards of Euro-Americans. The belief is that sunlight dancing through the colored bottles will lure evil spirits into the bottles and trapping them protecting the home. When Martin was inside of that den, he was telling Boyd that the creatures that go to the town at night, they're just the tip of the spear. I think that the evil spirits or evil beings that Martin was referring to that were worse than the creatures, probably worse than the cicadas and worse than the music box monster were probably the evil spirits and beings that have been trapped in the bottles or maybe even warded away from the bottles because it says that tradition states that the sounds created when the wind blows through the necks of the bottles is the evil spirits howling or moaning in addition to capturing evil spirits bottle trees are believed to protect homes from thieves or other intruders sometimes the bottles house dirt from someone's grave so maybe people were unalived and from bill some of their dirt was put in the bottles and although many types of trees are used in making bottle trees, the most widely used is cedar, which is resistant to decay and favored for its heavenward stretching limbs. Colored bottles are hung on the ends of the limbs, creating a magical delight when the sunlight plays among the bottles. Blue bottles, though scarce, are favored and prized for their increased ability to ward off evil and keep fever from one's home. So I think these bottles, while trapping evil spirits inside of them and possibly being over the grave of the inhabitants in Frumville, I think the bottles were the early, if not first, version of of the talisman. The creatures that come at night, those are warded away by the talisman being hung up. We know that from watching the show, but I think there's evil spirits in the forest that do not just simply go into the town day or night because of the bottles that are on the bottle trees. Victor, who's been there years, says he doesn't know who hung up the bottles. And I'm starting to believe that I doubt that Tabitha would hang them up. It's still possible that she could be a time traveler, but I think that people who came to Frumville before the people who are there now, they didn't have talismans. They were maybe running and hiding and fighting the monsters. And they're probably the ones that hung up these bottle trees or hung up these bottles on these trees because they would be from a time period, in my opinion, when it was more superstitious and people were more into the occult, more into religion and more into 
different religious practices such as voodoo and hoodoo. So they would be the ones to hang these bottles up and then kind of going to the description of from Fromville is located in middle America. This is the map that Donna was talking, was looking at when she was talking to, I think it was Boyd in the show. And she was saying that it doesn't make any sense because the thumbtacks on the map are places where people entered into Fromville from. All of the thumbtacks are on highways. So I'm thinking that there's a portal that randomly opens up at different places or maybe it opens up at certain places to capture certain people and that's how people enter into Fromville. According to Google, neon signs were created 1910 and it seems like the town of Fromville is from 1910. So with that being said, it's more than likely that people who were in Fromville who hung those bottles up, they were around maybe late 1800s, early 1900s, whereas that would make sense why people would be into the tradition of putting bottles on trees, make creating the bottle trees. And this tradition coming from Africa would definitely be ingrained in people who a couple decades ago were still enslaved. So they would still have a lot of those African traditions with them that have been passed on from generation to generation, either in the antebellum south or other parts of america i could see these bottles being there as somewhat of like something to ward away evil before the talismans were discovered by boyd i think there's people who are more than likely living in the forest or have other stuff in the forest that's a part of their time period and their tradition to ward away evil and to keep themselves safe i wouldn't be surprised if a lot of them ended up going underground and a lot of the underground like caves are are home to people who no longer go topside because that's where evil mainly is. That may be the reason why the creatures don't go deeper into the caves unless they have, and we just haven't seen it on the show. But I think that's the reason why the creatures kind of hang around the entrance because they go out and they hunt in town. They probably don't want to go farther into the cave due to different inhabitants there that may have some type of magic or technology or mixture of both that keeps the creatures from going below where most people probably have made their home. Because I doubt that anybody has really found a way to escape from outside of the help of the boy in white like he did with uh, Tabitha when he pushed her out of the lighthouse. I think that there are more people in the forest. They may even be underground. And some of the things that people like that have brought with them when they came in the from was different things like the bottle trees. They may have even been the ones to create the talisman and they may have left them in different trees. They themselves turned into faraway trees. We're kind of assuming that whoever controls Fromville made the faraway trees or maybe the boy or white made the faraway trees or the creatures or whatever the evil spirits are, but it may have been people who came into Fromville in the past around the early 1900s that were more into magic and the occult and things like that. And they're the ones that actually created the faraway trees in the first place and the talisman with that technology and so on and so forth. Or it could just be aliens, who knows? What do you think? Let me know in the comment section your thoughts, thumbs up the video, share your social media, subscribe, click the notification bell. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Go forth, do great things, and I'm out. Peace. The future's not ours to see. Kiss her eyes.